Sports Show. Of course, the Southern Footy League boys uh, up. prelim oh, final last weekend, up. grand final this weekend. <laughs> it is going to hot up. The Prez been good enough to squeeze a bit of time into this big grand final week schedule. Craig Warman joins us. Craig, how are you? Hello, gentlemen. How are we? Very good, mate. And let's start with Morfitt Vale, 4 10 34, defeating Norlunga 3 9 27 in the prelim final last weekend. First question's got to be what were the conditions like? Perfect. For a rugby game? Yeah. But you were playing <laughs> footy? Yeah, well. <laughs> Try and tell that to them. It was it was just one of those games. It was just a, a, a brutal encounter. Yeah. Stop stoppage by stoppage, and it was like the the ruck ball going down the down the field. Look, one tells me that Morvale's score at three quarter time was what the, the score was at the end of the game for them. So they was, they didn't go they, inside fifty in the last quarter. Didn't go inside quarter. fifty the no. whole last quarter and won and won the game. Wow! <laughs> so we're talking rugby. We're Basically, scrimmage after scrimmage. That's great coaching. That's great coaching, in my, from my opinion. Don't go inside 50. We're going to give my full sense of security. Well, that is amazing, man. That's an amazing stat. That it is. is. What about the opposition? How, how often did they go inside? 20. They went inside 20 times, times and scored one goal five. And got knocked off. And got knocked off. And the other team didn't go inside 50. That is an amazing game. But that would have been pretty good to watch, I think. Or sort of a bit of a. It was heart. tough. I've kind of got this vision in my, in my mind of just seeing 36 rolling players down this end, 36 players down that end, yeah. 36 players. The rolling ball. Yeah. Right. It, Did you, was it like that? It was. Yeah. A, a little bit. Very you, fi- very hard to find some open space. Did you think uh, uh, Dolan would, would overrun them? Like they had 20 inside of 50s. You would have thought on the sidelines that, well, well the had, ball is going to be cooked. They had all the chances, Sando, in, in that, as you say, the 20, 20 inside 50s. Yeah. And the classic example was poor old Victor Rich. Uh, Robertson, the goal sneak, yep. he's one metre out from the goal line, tried to kick it through, it's hit the point of his shoe, straight over his head and out of bounds on the fall. That's it. That, wow. that, that, talk about so like one a, five plus one yeah. out of the fall. <laughs> You're, not <laughs> meant to win. You're not meant to win if that happens. No, right? the, the odds are against you. Hey, mate, let's get to the grand final. But before we do, of course, Monday night, the medal on, the male medal, Sam Whitebread. Of course, uh, I don't want to say anything, boys, but he's from Ranella. Uh, yeah. uh, finishes up being the best player this year in the Southern Footy League. Yeah, terrific. And uh, for a young lad, uh, he's only just turned 22, I think. Uh, had a bit of a stint at South. He'll go back to South next year. Um, but, yeah, a terrific little player. Favourite? Did you, did you pick him before the count? No, not really. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, I would have had Aidan Coakley, who, who finished second from Christie's Beach. Yep. Um, Aidan's, I think that's about the third time he's come runner-up. Wow. Um, wow. So yeah. he's, he's just yeah. can't get over the line, and it, it took until the actual last vote of the, the night oh, right. for Whitbread to, to knock off Coakley. So. Wow! All right, let's get the Flinders Uni oval yeah. this weekend, mate, because it's going to be a big one Saturday at two thirty. Ranella up against Morford. Well, it's a bit of history. They last met back in two thousand and nine, mm. boys. Ranella oh, yeah, yeah, Morphys, yeah, that's yeah. Not and Morphys yeah. got him in that one. Yes, uh, they played twice this year, one each. And my understanding is through the history of the, these two teams meeting in the grand final, Ranella and Morfitt Vale, Ranella have never beaten Is that Morfitt right? Vale. In a, in so a this could be history okay. in the making on Saturday. Do you hear that, Ben? <laughs> history in the making. No, they're history all coming on board, mate. They're all coming on board now. <laughs> Who are you on, Ranella or Morfitt Vale? Sorry, mate. Just... Oh, no, no, no. no. You know me, mate. You Cove. Know me. You've been to I'll... Cove. You've been to... <laughs> yeah. I'll wait and have a little scores. And then jump on. <laughs> yeah. But you would think Ranella's... We'll win this one. I mean, like, uh, yes. Morfale have done it tough even to get into the final series. They've had a great, uh, obviously, a great month of football. They would have spent a lot of tickets last week. They would have spent a lot, yeah. Mm. yeah. So, Ranella favourites? Um, they'd certainly start favourites, mm. uh, and you would think with the week's break... Uh, Fresh they're, legs up, they're, yeah. they're in the prime position. Yeah. But... Uh, in saying that, we all know what grand finals are. Oh, like. yeah. I mean, yeah, we've got to give it to Morphys, though. They came from oh, fifth. It wasn't like so. they sat, you know, nicely in second yeah. or third. They, they've grind their way through to give themselves a chance in the grand final. Where, where do you reckon the big improvement from that fifth position through this final series to get in the grand finals come? Oh, look, I think uh, it just took a little bit of time for Michael Hamby, uh, who's the coach at Morfitt Vale, mm-hmm. to instil uh, his type of game plan. Um, and in the second half, if you look at the, the results, in the second half of the year, they've been very good, Morfitt Vale. Um, and it was a matter of Michael get, finally getting the message across on how he wants the game played. Uh, that was pushed them into the position they're in now. We said that last week, didn't we, about Morfa? No one really got mm. on them. They, they, they were just sort of there, but no one, you know, we, we mm. praised them. We, we said that they mm. were around the mark, around the mark, here they are in a GF. But I think what you said earlier about the tickets, if they've spent the entire last quarter of that game mm. not going inside 50, then they've spent a lot of time chasing and 
tackling, and I think that'll take a bit out of them as well. Tough one. That's going to be a tough one for them. Ronella's strengths uh, over the year? Oh, look, yeah, you, you've certainly got uh, the Mark Bolholm up forward, uh, but Bailey Marshman will play centre-half forward and is, is a really good hit-up for them. Cal Semple is your... Uh, he'll kick you three or four goals out of a forward pocket. Uh, Sammy Whitbread in the middle uh, and Cam McCree uh, back from injury certainly will uh, give them the edge. And I've had a week off. Weather. Weather. Wet. Weather. Now, play a role. It'll play yeah, a role. Yeah, it, it will, but mm. I, I, don't think, um, I don't think that'll affect uh, either, either the, the oh, sides. Yeah. The oval at uh, South Adelaide is, is fantastic. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't um, it? Yeah. And it'll soak it all up, so we're looking forward to a really big day. Oh, it is going to be a beauty. 2.30, of course, at... Well, we've got Flinders Union Flinders Oval, but we know it's the South Adelaide good footy Good to me there, by the way. We, I was lucky enough to coach... Uh, Premiership. Uh, Premiership, uh, yep. Cove over Morfa Vale. Yep. Uh, and I, well, we probably were favourites, only just, but yeah. uh, I mean, everything's relevant. It was probably one of my best days of my football life. Yeah. Is there going to you be know. a segment, mate, where you won't have done something? Probably, today? Not. probably not. Probably not. Probably I'm looking through the running lot, sheet. <laughs> I'm going to get caught with surf <laughs> life saving, I think. I could get caught there. <laughs> uh, mate, you have done a lot. I thought you were, I'll try and squeeze it. <laughs> Didn't you leave a McGarry medal in the surf? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the, the, only life saver, the only life saver he knows is the, the little candies that you eat. <laughs> 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 hey, mate, while we're talking about the women, of course, uh, they played the grand final on the weekend. Yes. Renella 2-1 went down to Flaggy's Four three, good contest. It was a good contest, uh, and uh, look, a terrific game. And again, uh, thanks to the Aldinga Footy Club for uh, hosting a fantastic day. We were we, we were chock a block all day, um, but Flagstaff Hill, that's their th- uh, third in a row. Uh, and just quickly, in the under seventeen girls, uh, Christie's Beach won that, and they've gone back to back in that grade. Right, well done. All right, just quickly, let's get across it. So you're going for Ranella. Uh, they were star favourites. All right. Mm. More of a... More of a... Uh, Renella. Renella, yep. Yeah. OK, 3-1, you're out, Baz. We put a wager yeah. on it, but you're still only from the last one. <laughs> Billy so, Billy <laughs> footy League, 2.30. Get down there this weekend to Flinders Uni Oval. It'll be a spectacular game. Renella about to make some history, or Morphe are going to stop them in their tracks. Stay with us. A bit more to come.